on your own shoulders and know that you are the creator of your own destiny. All the strength and struggle you want is within yourself. Our destiny lies in our own hands. It is up to us to utilize the qualities given by God. With this beautiful and famous quote of Swami Vivekananda, I, Adyasha Sampi Bhadwaj, standing before you to conduct today's assembly. Prayer is not an attempt to change God's mind, but it is an attempt to let go, change our mind. So let's become close to God. Join your hands, close your eyes and start a prayer with Damini. Good morning everyone. I am Damini. This is my today's prayer. Where the mind is without prayer and the head is held high. Where the knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary deserts and of dead habits, where the mind is led forward by thief into ever-widening thought and action, into that haven of freedom, my father, let my country away. Thank Before we begin any work, we pray to Lord Ganesh. Here is Pranita reciting the sloka on Lord Ganesh and Riti will say its meaning to us. Pranita, today I am telling about Sankarna Nasana Ganipati Stotram. Pranavam Yashirasa Devam Gauri Putram Vinayakam Bhakta Vasam Smare Nityam Ayu ृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीयकृतीय
country. It is important that we continue to work for the country and always prize ourselves as a nation. So be ready to take the pledge by Nityashri. Good morning everyone. My name is K. Nityashri. Stretch your right hand forward and repeat the pledge after me. India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always strive to be worthy of it. I shall give my parents, teachers and all elders respect and treat everyone with courtesy to my country and my people. I bless my devotion, their well-being and prosperity alone. Life's my happiness. Jai Hind. Thank you, Nitya for reminding our duties. Swami Vivekananda was a figure with his high thinking and simple living. He was a great pious leader, a philosopher and an inspiration for the youth of India. Moksha is going to say today's thought of the day, said by Swami Vivekananda. Good morning everybody. I am Moksha from class 4B. Today, I am standing before you to say today thought. You, you can't believe God until you believe in yourselves. Said by Swami Vivekananda. This means that belief builds strength of determination. Belief builds strength of will. It creates flexibility when we strongly believe in ourselves. We perform in better and smarter ways. First, we need to believe in ourselves to access our spiritualities. Then only we can believe God. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you, Mokshit, for your valuable and inspiring thought. Swami Vivekananda was famous for his spirituality, smart and strong personality. Here is a topic on Swami Vivekananda. By Atyasha Sampu Adwaj. The grandest idea in the religion of Vedanta is that we may reach the same goal by different paths, and these paths I have generalized into four ways those of work, love, psychology, and knowledge. But you must at the same time remember that these divisions are not very marked and quite exclusive of each other. Each blends into the other. But according to the time which prevails, we name the divisions. It is not that you can find men who have no faculty than that of work, nor that you can find men who are no more than devoted worshippers only, nor that they are men who have no more than knowledge. These divisions are made in accordance with the type or the tendency that may be seen to prevail in a man. We have found that in the end all these four paths converge and become one. All religions and all methods of work and worship lead us to one and the same goal. Thank you. Good morning everyone. This is Chatur. Today I am speaking about Narendra Nath Dada. Narendra Nath Dada, better known to the world as Swami Vivekananda, was born on January 12, 1863. Since 1984, we observe January 12th as National Youth Day and after his death on July 4th, 1902, all his teachings and lectures were gathered in two nine volumes. He was the perfect embodiment of intellect and humanity. He has been an inspiration for the youth of the nation and will remain so for many more generations to come, there are several anecdotes about the legendary man and his life. And while the authenticity of those stories cannot be verified, obvious reasons 
This will inspire nevertheless. As a student, this will inspire us. Life incidents of Swami Vivekananda. So my friends are going to share some anecdotes of, from the great life of this Swami Vivekananda. Good morning everyone. I am Saksham Yadav from class 4B. Today I would like to tell you one incident of Swami Vivekananda's life which is very inspirational to everyone. Before leaving to abroad for the first time to preach Hinduism, Vivekananda's mother wanted to know whether he is all perfect for this mission or not. She invited him for dinner. Vivekananda enjoyed the food that has the additional flavor of his mother's special love and affection. After the delicious dinner, Vivekananda's mother offered him a dish of fruits and denied. Vivekananda cut the fruit, ate it and after that his mother said, Son, will you please give the knife? I need it. Vivekananda immediately responded by giving the knife. Mother replied, Son, you have passed the test. I heartily bless you for going abroad. Vivekananda surprisingly asked, Mother, how did you test me? I did not understand. Mother said, Son, when I asked for the knife, I saw you hand it to me. You gave the knife by holding its sharp edges and kept the wooden handle of the knife towards me. This way I would not get hurt when I take it. And this means you took care of me. And this was your test in which you passed. The person who thinks of others welfare rather than thinking about self has got the right of preaching the word and you have got that right. You have all my blessings. This was the most important mark he left in the hearts of many he met in his lifetime. To think of others before thinking for self. The moral of the story is, there are some qualities which draw the difference between a common man and an uncommon man. To think of welfare of everyone falls under an extraordinary quality. The true noble person is the one who thinks of others' happiness even if it is a little matters to our day-to-day -day life. The one who thinks of himself alone is considered selfish and will not be valued by the world in the long run. It is the law of nature that as the bigger hearted and noble you are, the more you will keep receiving. And, the narrow, and as the narrow minded you become, the less you will receive. Thank you. Hello friends, I am Aradhya. Today I will say a story about Swami Vivekananda. While Swami Vivekananda was in America, some boys were standing on the beach and trying to shoot the axes that were floating in the water. They fell almost at every try. Vivekananda who was watching them from a distance went close to them, took the gun and fired 12 times. And every time he fired, he hit the axes. The inquisitive boys asked him how he did it. He replied, whatever you are doing, put your whole mind on it. If you are shooting, your mind should be only on the target. Then you will never miss it. If you are learning your lessons, think only of the lesson. In my country, boys are taught to do this. Thank you.
could have been broken long ago. Now, that's exceptional common sense for an idea sort, isn't it? Thank you. My name is Anija. Today I am going to tell you a story about an incident in the life cycle of Swami Vivekananda. When Swami Vivekananda lived in Chicago, he used to go to the library and borrow a large volume of books, take them home and return them the next day. Few days later, the librarian became curious to know and asked him, Why do you take out so many books when you can't read them all in one day? Swami Vivekananda replied that he read each and every page of the book that he took. The librarian could not believe this. So Swami Vivekananda asked her to test, test him. The librarian opened the book, selected a page and a paragraph and asked Swami Vivekananda to tell her what was written in it. Swami Vivekananda replied the sentences exactly as it was written in the book. Without looking at it, the librarian was astounded and did more tests. Every time Swami Vivekananda replied the exact sentences. Soon the librarian discovered that the Swami Vivekananda had a photographic memory. He did not, he didn't have to read books. His eyes and mind could capture an image of the page and whenever he wants, he can recall a book. This was the capacity of his brain and mind. Thank you. Good morning everybody. My name is K. Panav Krishna and today I am going to share my favorite anecdotes of Swami Vivekananda. For it goes the root of all his embracing humanity. After his speech at the parliament of regents in Chicago, the Swami became very well known. One day as he walked down the street with his companions, a black person approached him and shook his hands. I don't understand much of what you say, but I am so happy someone as important as you belong to my race, the man said. The Swamiji smiled and thanked the man for his compliment. The man went away happily. A while later, one of Swamiji's companions couldn't bear it any longer and blotted out the question and was bothering him. Swamiji, that man mistook you for a black. Why did you correct him and tell him that you are not from the black race? The man asked. The Swamiji whirled around and said, Do you mean to say that I should have implied that my race is more superior to his? Never. The companion was mortified. My friend Valeri is going to say us some very interesting facts of Swami Vivekananda. Good morning everybody. I am N. Valerie of Class 4B. Today, I am going to share some interesting facts about Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda, born Narendra Nath Datta, was an Indian Hindu man and philosopher. Swami Vivekananda founded the Ram Krishna Mission, his the talented disciple of Swami Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. He is perhaps best known for his speech, which began with the words, Sisters and Brothers of America. There he introduced Hinduism at the Parliament of World's Religion in Chicago in 1893. He is known for his oratory skills, especially the English speech he gave in Chicago is still famous today. Over 7,000 people stood up for him and paid applause. No woman could enter Swamiji's monastery not even his mother. India's Vedanta reached every country including America and Europe only because of Swami Vivekananda. 
Swami Vivekananda died on 4th July 1902 at the young age of 39 in Belur Math. Thank you. I'd like to invite I to Shrista for enriching our knowledge and making our mind fresh with some tiki questions. I'm I to Shrista. Today I'm going to ask you few tiki questions about Swami Vivekananda. Here comes my first question. What is the original name of Swami Vivekananda? The correct answer is Nanindranath Dutta. Here comes the second question. Where was Swami Vivekananda born? The correct answer is Kolkata in West Bengal. Here comes the third question. What was founded by the Swami Vivekananda? The correct answer is Ramakrishna Mission. Here comes the fourth question. Who said that the Swami Vivekananda as the maker of the modern India? The correct answer is Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Here comes the last question. Who was the guru of Swami Vivekananda? The correct answer is Ramakrishna Paramahansa. Thank you. Here are some pictures of Swami Vivekananda's inspirational speeches across the globe. I'm truly impressed uh, to be a part of this presentation and uh, to watch your program. And uh, I must say that uh, the topic chosen by you was very appropriate to your class, your age. Also, the presentation of uh, all individual students was excellent. They spoke very clearly and confidently. This shows that you have prepared yourself uh, nicely before uh, recording the presentation and uh, sharing today. Uh, your friends rightly pointed out that uh, Swami Vivekananda is having the uh, highest kind of reputation in our society because of ability. Uh, that he demonstrated in a very short period of his uh, lifespan here on the earth. You all know that uh, he was very intelligent, sharp, witty. And uh, again, I must underline that in very short period of his stay with us, he has left a very rich legacy by his philosophy, his thoughts and ideas. He keeps inspiring the even present generation, and I'm sure this will go to the future, future generations also. I wish that uh, by all these examples, uh, the stories and uh, the, the ideas which were shared today, you keep in your mind. Uh, when you grow, try to learn out of these ideas, try to make more out of these few ideas which are uh, you know, uh, given to you today, being a part of this presentation, whether you have presented the uh, items of the assembly or you were watching your friends to do something, this will certainly make a difference in your life when you grow up. I'm happy for all of you uh, and I look forward uh, for many more presentations of this kind in days to come. I thank your class teacher, your parents, to prepare you for uh, this presentation. And I, even I thank you for uh, inviting me and making a part of your uh, 
assembly today thank you sir. i can i convey my best best wishes to all of you thank you thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir for your enriching and supportive words national anthem evokes feelings of patriotism amongst us and it reminds our nation's glory such heritage and beauty it represents the belief of a nation and its people